Hi, I'm EJ Harnan, second for Team Canada from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. On this week's segment, I talked with EJ Harnan, second of Team Jacobs. We discussed his family curling roots, becoming an Olympian, and the generous support of our community. I was I probably started uh, almost uh, before I could walk, uh, or probably as soon as I could walk. Um, with my dad uh, being uh, very in involved in curling and being a competitive curler, I still have memories of me and my little brother Ryan, uh, who was four at the time, so I'd be around seven years old, uh, out on the rink with his uh, his helmet on and, and, and me and my dad throwing rocks with him actually sitting on them. So I've really been uh, around the rink uh, ever since I was probably five, six years old. Um, and it was it was because of him that that I got into the game and, and became to, to love the game because I was always up there uh, cheering him on and, and hoping that he was he was doing well and, and, and wanting to be like him and, and following his footsteps. So it started at a very young age and, and I've uh, had a love for the game ever since. What's the relationship like curling with your brother, especially now at, at this level of curling, and and what does it mean to you to still be able to to be on a team with him? Yeah, it's extremely special. I mean, it's special when you get to to find the bond that we have with 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 our team, with four of us, and, and I'm sure many other teams uh, would say the same thing. But to be able to do it with with uh, your brother, and who is not just my brother, but literally my best friend. He was my best man at my wedding, and so you get to experience some very emotional um, uh, things, and, and and going through some of the achievements that we've been able to to go through, and 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 have those experiences and those moments uh, with with uh, your best friend and, and your brother and, and a teammate. It's it's indescribable and, and something obviously I'll never forget and, and something that I hope uh, we get to do many more times before we're, we're done and the best thing is, is is when it's all said and done still gonna be my brother and still gonna be my best friend and, and I know uh, he'll be with me for the rest of my life so it's a, a really cool experience. Did you ever think you'd become an Olympian and, and what, what does it mean representing Canada? Uh, I think the honest answer is yes and no. Um, did I grow up wanting to be an Olympian? Absolutely. Uh, like I said in other interviews, uh, in, in the prior interview that we had, is that I grew up watching the Olympics and always remember the opening ceremonies and seeing those athletes come out. And you can't help but want to be one of those athletes and, and, and represent your country on, on the largest stage uh, imaginable worldwide. Um, did I actually think I would become Olympian? No, I, I guess. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that it's not obviously easy to do. At that time, curling wasn't in the Olympics and only became really a reality for us as curlers uh, to do that within the last, what, a eight to 12 years. So uh, growing up, I never really thought I'd get the chance to do that as much as I wanted to, but within the last four years in, in this Olympic run, that's where it started to become uh, uh, real to me, that I could become an Olympian, that there was the chance, and that hopefully, uh, if it wasn't in 2014, that I would get to experience that in 2018. If you could thank the Sioux for their support, what would you say? Um, just that you're, you're, uh, you're an important ingredient um, to the success that we've had so far. Um, I, I learned after the Briar, and the, the support's always been there, but what I'll never forget coming home from the Briar is not how much that meant and the achievement meant to us, but how it meant how much it meant to so many other people in all different ways. And I'll never forget that. And it's the same thing with the World Championship. It's been the same thing with the Olympics, is that our achievements haven't just meant something to us. It's meant something to so many other people. And I think that's the, truly the great part of it and something that makes it more special than I think we ever thought it would be. So thank you, because the support that you give us is what we use uh, when we need that little bit of extra energy or, or, or reinforcement and, and, and we draw on that and we think about that and that's what helps us get through some of the tough events and that's what makes those achievements uh, more special than, than we ever thought they would be. I hope you enjoyed this week's Team Jacobs Player Profile. Tune in next week when we'll have another feature interview with third Ryan Fry of Team Jacobs. For Shaw TV, I'm Greg Seiler.